All right, we are live. It is Saturday, April 18th. Good call on writing the date up top. I could, I, I would have had to look it up. Uh, so good morning, everybody. Here's our uh, workout plan for today. You'll notice there's a blank spot right here. We're going to fill that in later. So don't worry about that. Uh, and I'm here today with... Coach Anna from Center for Blade Arts. Hey, good to Ooh, see you. Nice to see everyone. And it's actually really nice outside today. So you'll notice it's a little lighter than we've sort of been creeping up longer and longer with our workouts. So this one should be a quick one. But there's homework on the bottom to go enjoy the nice weather in whatever way you are able to do because it's nice out and there's sunshine. So I know after I'm done here, I'm gonna go outside. So just your reminder to go get the vitamin D and enjoy the nice weather while we have it. Oh yeah, we put up a new plyometrics video yesterday. So you can uh, you can check out that plyo drill, get out the sidewalk chalk and- Yep, yeah. that's, that's on our, our to-do list. Uh, Camelia is my daughter, so she's been wanting to get the sidewalk chalk out it snowed and it took all her sidewalk chalk art away so we get to redo the sidewalk chalk art put our chalk ladder up and a chalk hopscotch so also fun you can also do that with your plyo ladder you yeah. don't have to make a separate hopscotch but if you like putting the numbers in also a fun thing to do all right so we're going to start off keeping it simple we've got just jumping jacks if you want to be fancy, you can make them the T-Jacks, go crazy. You could add jumping ju uh, jump rope there if you want. We're gonna do uh, five squats, so just down and up, or bounce, bounce, down, up. Um, I'll probably do the bounce, bounce, down, up today. And then we've got five glute bridges, so that's just on the ground, wherever you are, feet and heels on the ground. You can do toes up if it helps you keep your heels in. We're going to do elbows by the side, lift those hips up, squeeze the butt, that's one, come back down, squeeze two, hold at the top for a little bit before you move on to your next one. So we're going to do that yeah, three times at least, maybe we'll add an extra one for extra credit. We'll move on to stretches and footwork, our fun extra thing, the blank spot today. Got some big foam cubes. Um, you could make paper cubes at home. And I just wrote some numbers on this one. And I wrote some fencing moves on this one. Lunge, retreat lunge, um, lunge times two. So we'll roll the dice to pick an activity and then we'll roll this one for our number of advances before we do our activity. Our uh, extra special thing. So I thought we could do that together. If you want to make your own dice, you can cut some out of paper. There's lots of patterns to make a cube. You could get an app for dice. If you have dice from another game, you could use those. You could get extra fancy and difficult by getting a d20 with numbers 1 through 20 and give yourself a lot of, a lot of numbers. All right, so here we go with our warm-up, jumping jacks, squats, then those glute bridges. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump, jump, one, jump, jump, two, jump, jump, three, jump, jump, four, jump, jump, five, glute bridges. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back to the beginning. If you need to, you can add a little break in there between. I didn't add one. We're doing a little lighter today than we normally do. So up to you if you need one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's our squats and you can do them Slow if you want to. Three, four, five. Remember, pause at the top. Make sure you squeeze the glutes there. That's what makes it the glute bridge. Three, 
four, five. All right, last one. If you want some extra ones, feel free to do some extra ones. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do the bounce ones. Bounce, bounce, one. Bounce, bounce, two. Bounce, bounce, three. Bounce, bounce, four. Bounce, bounce, five. Last time with your group bridges. One. Two, three, four, and five. If you're gonna come back and do this later, you can make this extra fancy by doing a raise on your glute bridge. So a glute bridge with a raise, and make sure you do both legs. You will feel that all up in your hamstring. All right, moving on to our stretches. So we're gonna start off with those hip circles. Again, hips, knees, feet, all facing forward. Find our balance on one foot. I'm gonna keep my foot flexed for this one. And rotate. Make that circle. This is your good chance to work on your balance. You can adjust the height if you are feeling a little off balance. Four, two, five. I'm gonna switch and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Switch feet, reset, start from that balanced position. And one, two, three, Four, five, change direction, two, three, four, five, shake it out, get our arms, so I'm going to start with arms out in front, two big circles back. I'm going to do five or six, change direction. Try and get your full range of motion on your arm circles, wherever that is. Let's do one more set. And change direction last time with the big circles. Good. And do shoulders up towards your ears and down. Help you stand up tall, up towards your ears. Down, stand tall. Up. Down. Up. And down. We're going to go up to our ears. We're going to roll it back, pinch your shoulder blades back. And just get those shoulder blades going. Do five big ones going backwards. Five big ones going forwards. And we'll do one more set. Five going back. Five going forward. Two, three, four, five. And take one hand, pull it across, other hand here, and hold for one, two, Three, four, five, open wide, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna take one arm up, let it hang here, and go across. If you're feeling more flexible or you need more of a stretch, you can do the arms touching and grab the hands. If you're somewhere in between being able to do that and this one, you can hold a towel in your hand and try and grab that towel and work on 
that intermediate position between that those two stretches. That's probably what I would normally be doing. All right, we're gonna go, um, we've got sweeps. We're gonna take that one foot out, arms out, sit it back, one, and up, sit back, two, and up, sit back, three, and up, sit back, four, and up, sit back, five, and up, switch to your other side, again, arms out, sit back, and sweep, sit back, and sweep, sit back, and sweep, two more on this side, sit back, sweep, last one, sit back, and sweep, shake it out, if you need water, you can grab it, We're kind of doing a little lighter day, so you might not need water, if you turned up all your moves, like you did the extra fancy jumping jacks, bounce bounce squats, or if you did all the single leg glute squats, you may need water. And now we're just gonna move on to our footwork. So we're gonna review our basic footwork. Make sure everyone who's watching and joining us today has the basics down. And then we'll add that rolling the dice in game. Um, I call it a game, maybe you think it's more of a, a drill, but it's a fun way to torture yourself. And you can blame the dice if you don't like what happens. So we're gonna start off with our uh, simple advances and retreats. So wherever you at, let's start in our attention position. We'll do our salute like we're starting class normally. Step it out to your on guard. And we'll start with our advances in place. So front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, foot, back foot. If you're newer to fencing and not as experienced, take a pause, double check that your feet are still making that nice L shape, you're not hunching over, this is really nice if you have a mirror at home where you can do your footwork in front of a mirror so you can see if you're leaning in, you can see if you're bending your back knee, you can see if you're sticking your butt out or tucking it in. So if you've got a mirror at home, that's a, another thing you can use to help you work on your fencing technique while you're fencing from home. So I'm doing about two sets of 10. All right, so we're gonna do our retreats. Change to back foot first, then the front foot. Back foot, front foot, 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 back foot, front foot. And I'm gonna take a little break. Shake out your legs. You should be starting to feel it in your quads if you're not already. All right, here's our second set of 10 in place retreats. Take it off. If you need to add a stretch in, there's a good chance to add in a runner's lunge. Just stretch that back calf out. You can even add in some arm circles here. I think we did this when I was with you guys on Thursday. Change direction on those arm circles. All right, so we're gonna do our advances and retreats moving. So for this one, I'm just gonna throw a little timer up. Otherwise, I could just keep going. All right, so 
So I'm gonna use a smaller space, but this is a good footwork thing you can do outside. So if you've got space outside or a nice level sidewalk where you can do footwork, it's a good place to do it. Just make sure there's not obstructions or if it's gravelly or rocky that you have on appropriate footwear so you're not slipping and sliding. So find that in on guard position. This time I'm just gonna do advances and then I'll retreat back to my starting spot. I'm putting just about a minute on the clock. We're going at a nice even pace where I can work on making sure my feet are lined up. I can work on my fencing posture. If your arm gets tired from hanging out in on guard, you can put them on your hips or across your shoulder, across this way. If you need an extra challenge, you can do this holding your sword. And I know we have some fencers that like to do this with ankle weights as their extra challenge. Nick, you know that's you. I told you to watch, so. I'll throw in, I'll throw in some challenges to check if you're, you're watching. All right, so here we're gonna do, um, I call it a tension position to lunge, because I'm gonna make sure that everyone's doing, um, everyone's got their advances, their retreats, and at least a lunge before we do the roll the dice game. So here, find your attention position, make that L shape. This is also gonna work as our stretch in between doing things. So we're gonna go up on our toes. Make sure that big toe is pushing into the ground and we'll just set it back down. You should be able to stretch in your calf as you do this. And when you set your heels back down, you should try and stay lined up so you're ready to go in your fencing attention position. Nice and tall. Up. And down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. All right, so we did about 10 there. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to our highest position on our toes. We're gonna bend our knees, sink down um, into a plie. If you like ballet terms, otherwise, we're just going down like to go like a nice slow elevator. We're gonna not let gravity accelerate us to the ground, but we're gonna keep control of our uh, downward speed. And when we get to the spot where we can't go down further without um, compromising our posture, that's your stopping point. It might be here. It might be all the way down here, but find your stopping point. And we're gonna keep those uh, toes on the ground and our heels up. And then we'll do our lunge from there. So up, slowly down, find your spot. Lunge, recover all the way back to that attention position. Check if you need to, up on your toes. Sink it down, nice and slow. Thrust, lunge, recover back. Up on your toes. Sink it down, nice and slow. Thrust, lunge, recover back. Up on your toes. Sink it down, nice and slow. Thrust, lunge, recover back. Shake it out. We're just gonna do about five with the lunge there. Again, if you're going really low and you can't lunge, or you're falling over, Bring it back up so you're a little higher up. All right, from here, we were gonna do just some regular fencing lunges from on guard position. So we did work from here. We're gonna step it up to on guard, bend those knees, get our arm ready, and we've got a thrust, lunge, recover, and recover the arm. Thrust, lunge, cover your feet, 
recover the arm. Thrust, lunge, recover the feet, recover the arm. Thrust, lunge, recover the feet, recover the arm. This time, we're gonna speed up our um, feet to go with that arm. So, thrust and lunge at the same time. All right, so we've got our lunges in. Um, if you're feeling like you need some extra, we did everything on one side. I like doing everything on both sides. So here's where you could go back later. You could skip the warm up part and just do your footwork on the other side. I won't make us do it all at once, but it's a good thing if you wanna get two mini fencing workouts in, so do your other side. All right, so the next thing is to add some of those advances and retreats. I can read my own handwriting. <laughs> Hopefully it's a little easier for you, but we're gonna start with, so what we're gonna do when we get the roll the dice game is first we'll roll the dice to see how many advances or retreats we do in place. And then we'll roll the dice to see what happens afterwards. Do we do an advanced lunge? Do we do just a regular lunge? And then we're gonna pick three patterns to do and we'll just do those three patterns. We're gonna go with just a minute each on those patterns. And then we'll call that good. If you have extra time today, make your own pattern up. And again, just go for some time to work on um, uh, trying to come out of that advances or retreats and see if you can get those patterns in. You can take it as slow or as fast um, as you want, depending on where you're at with your fencing. I suggest starting out slow and speeding up um, as you go, if you are a more advanced fencer. So we'll do a couple uh, simple ones before we move on to the roll of the dice, just so we all have an idea of what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna pick two advances in place and then lunge as my simple pattern. And I'm gonna put my minute on the clock. And here we go. Two advances, lunge. Two advances, lunge. So that's an example of a simple one. So what we're gonna do, we'll roll the dice to see how many advances or retreats you do in place. So you can change this. You can make them all advances. You could advance, retreat, advance, retreat, and then do your um, whatever extra dice thing you rolled. So there are lots of ways you can change this up. All right, pattern number one, four. So I'm gonna do four advances in place. If you're doing this outside, you could also do these as moving advances. If you wanna make it a little different. Roll my dice for my extra move. Oh. Interference. What did we get? We got retreat lunge. So four advances in place, then retreat lunge. Good. Pattern number two. Two. This one, I'm gonna make them two retreats in place, just to make it a little different. 
All right. What do we get? Um, the advanced launch. Now, if you're a more advanced fencer, you could add more advanced moves to your dice roll. You could add a flush. You could add a cross step. So think about what you want to do if you take this home and do it on your own. Last pattern, we've got three. And what did we get? Lunch times two. Oh, this is the one Tyler picked today. So we had three um, advances. We'll just do that. And then we're going to do lunge times two. So that's going to be lunge, recover, lunge. So I'll demo each of the patterns and then we'll um, we'll do them for time. So here another place you can modify for you if you've got more time to use today. Uh, you can go longer on the time. If you have less time you can make them a little shorter. Um, if you're getting tired you could do 30 seconds instead of a minute. So it's sort of up to you. Um, you know your body best. So you could do 30 seconds. If you're like, yeah, I got that, you can go back and do it another round for 30 seconds again. All right. All right, so what do each of those patterns look like? So pattern one is four advances with a retreat launch. So if you're doing them in place, you've got front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, retreat, lunge. Second pattern is two advances and advance lunge. So in place, we've got advance, 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 lunge. Last pattern is three advances. Two, one, two, one, two. Lunge, recover, lunge. And I think, did I, did I mess up the second one by not reading correctly? I think I did. So that should be two retreats, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, advance lunge. Well, good news, you can do it either way. You can, <laughs> but if you want to do it the way we wrote it on the whiteboard, you know, I guess I could change the whiteboard also. But you already saw it on the whiteboard, so. So I'm gonna put a minute on the clock for each pattern. Uh, so we'll start with pattern one. Four advances in place, then A, retreat, lunge. So again, ways to scale. You could do those four advances really fast. Retreat, lunge. Or if you need to scale it down, you could do them slowly and carefully. Then do your retreat, lunge. It sort of depends on what your goal for this is. So if your goal is working on your technique, take it slower. If your goal is having some really fast footwork and being able to react quickly afterwards, take it a little faster. All right, I've got my minute on the clock and here we go. One, two, three, four, retreat, lunge. And I'm gonna reset after each one. So we always start in that same spot. One, two, three, four, retreat, lunge. Cover back. Time on the first pattern. Second pattern, remember, is those retreats in place. Back front, back front, advance, lunge, recover. Then reset. 
back to your starting spot. I like to reset, you don't actually have to if you've got the space. If you're space limited, resetting will help make sure you don't hit any obstacles in your way. So don't run into a vase and break it or hit a table and get a giant bruise, which is what happened to me earlier this week. All right, pattern two. Get your timer ready for whatever time you're doing. If you're going for a shorter time, use the break in between to drink some water and come back and join us for the next pattern. Here we go. Retreat, retreat, advance, lunge, recover, reset. Back front, back front, advance, lunge, recover, reset. If you want to add a tempo change, more advanced, you could do that too. You can make the first retreat slow, the second retreat fast, or you can make them all slow. You could go fast, slow, or you could go all fast. All right, that's your minute on pattern number two. All right, so pattern number three, um, three advances, lunge times two. So here, you've got advance, 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 thrust, lunge, recover, lunge, recover. Um, for this one, uh, you could do one, two, two, one, two, lunge, recover, lunge. You can leave your arm out or bring it in slightly. You don't need to recover it fully back for the second lunge. If you're working on, again, that technique, maybe you do because you want to practice that thrust. Again, that's up to you and where you're at in your front set. If you're not quite sure, make it as simple as possible for you. So make sure you get that thrust, lunge, recover, thrust, lunge if you're working on your lunge technique, perhaps. All right, so three advances, two lunges. Timer's ready. Here we go. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Lunge, recover, for the lunge. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Lunge, recover, for lunge. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Lunge, recover, for lunge. All right, on your own. Oh, I tried to move on that one. And again, if you have the space, you could do this traveling, but make sure you reset depending on where you're at. That's your minute. All right, fencers, shake it off. If you need to stretch, we did a lot of things that use your quads today, so make sure you stretch those out. Some good ones to do. Maybe get this one. Again, find your balance, hips thrust forward. Hold it for as long as you need. Switch feet, again, hips forward, knees forward. it out. So I mentioned earlier your homework today we kept this one short intentionally because it's nice out. So go outside do your social distancing outside if you can. You could do that whole footwork set outside. It's a nice one to do outside on the sidewalk. Again just make sure it's someplace free of obstruction so you're not falling over. Um, but enjoy the nice weather. Get that vitamin D. Um, Go throw a ball around, ride your bike, but have fun 
and we will see you next time. So find that attention position. So swords out or arm out, up, in, out, back down, and see you next time.